Right, here we go. Uh, what do you do to, to switch this room on, right? You're basically using these switches. Now, a lot of these switches power the sockets, which are down here, these weird things with the covers that nobody plugs anything in anymore because we don't know how they work, <laughs> right? So, SCP-1 and 2 is basically switch control point. Your abbreviations are there. Switch control point is one of these. In other words, a plug that does different things. And I'll show you what they do. Do you know how those work? No, no. right, so I'll show you how they work. So three and four are behind me. And, sorry, yeah, three and four, five and six are over near you. Can you see any sockets down on your right hand side, I would imagine? Should be some down the bottom as well. Yeah, they're down there as well, you see. So that's where you switch the sockets on. Right, so that's socket number three. You see the number there? It's got number three on it as well. Yay! And the other one is number four. You got it? Right. Now then, the, bit, the reason why the projector is working is because sockets three and four are also extended up here. Okay? So three and four are also there. Now, if you go to number four, right, and move the bottom dial one click round, the projector will go off. We've got, we're going to take this projector down here, and here we've got, thankfully we've got a safety cable on this, and it is important that any piece of equipment that's high up has a safety cable on it. Right, we've got a projector down. Can you plug that into number one? Okay, now to switch that socket on, switch on socket one and two here. Take a switch and we'll plug it into there. If I switch that to on, nothing's happened. And there's a dead simple reason why nothing's happened and that's because the projector's not switched on at the back. I've got the switch into the quarter inch jack socket there. The technical name for these switches is low profile switches. That's generally what they're called, all right? But they're called possibly. Now, on here, we've got on, which that is now. We've got latched, we've got momentary and timed, okay? Now that means that this switch will work in different ways. So I've got this on latched at the moment. And now if I press the switch once, the projector comes on. If I press the switch again, it goes off. So if I'm working with a child and we're working on early cause and effect skills and I'm doing a story about a dragon or something like that and we're coming up to the bit in the story where you're going to press the switch. Are you ready? And the dragon flew down out of the sky and he put fire all over the floor. Can you put some fire on the floor? Go for it. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh no, it's burning, it's burning. Shall I switch it off? Oh, it's gone. Can you switch it on? Let's see if you can do it! Yay! The dragon's lit the floor again, you know. So latched is once for on, once for off. Your next one is momentary. Can you turn that dial around to momentary? Now this only works when you press the switch and hold it down. If you let go it goes off. Your next one is timed. Okay, now <clears throat> this is where your top dial comes in, this one here. And if I put it right down to 25.2, okay, what should happen is we press the switch and that should sound for a very short period of time. Just going round, turning it clockwise to increase the time. But that's about right. Now, <clears throat> short time is quite useful. <laughs> that's, not, that's now going for quite a long time, isn't it, really? But uh, let's just back it off and it should be able to switch it off. So try about there. A bit of trial and error here. I'm after about five seconds, that's what I want. That's not bad. Timed mode is really useful if you get a child who comes in and does that with switches. Because it's not flashing the projector. This is where it gets fun. We've got socket number one there. So, this little box needs to be programmed to talk to socket number one. In other words, on the little dial on the end, you need to dial up zero one. Obviously, if we're on socket number five, it's zero five. Socket number six, zero six. And then we'll plug this into there. Yahoo, and then chuck it on the floor. Here you go. And now, if we're on a latched mode, yeah, press the switch. See, that's gone on. Press it again, it goes off. Okay, so. Now then, the nice thing about these is they're radio controlled. So, I should be able to go out here 
and keep switching it which is brilliant if you want to wreck somebody's session just stand outside <laughs> just doing that it's great number six put it to latched dun, 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 dun. yay there you go so i'm now switching it on and off from here when you finish with this you must unplug it Unplugging it is the same as switching it off. Mm -hmm.